Hi CCUC, my name is Jasmine and I'm going to be making macaroons today. It's my first ever Thai making macaroons, so we're just going to see how it goes. I have my lovely friend here, Quarantina, she's going to be helping us out today. So the first thing we're going to do is mix together the almond flour, the powdered sugar, and cocoa powder until no lumps remain. So we're going to use our lovely KitchenAid mixer here. Um, so we're going to add in the almond flour. And then I pre-sifted the powdered sugar, so there's one cup of that. And then some cocoa powder. And then we're going to mix it together until no lumps remain. Next we're going to be adding some egg whites. So I have my lovely egg here. Uh, eggs. Here. I'm going to crack it into the bowl. Let me separate it out one at a time. Ugh. One. And then we got two. We have two. Then we got two. And then we're going to mix until the paste is formed. And this is our finished product. Next we're going to be making the syrup. So it says to um, place the sugar in a small saucepan and slowly add water and do not mix them. Sugar here. Then we have our quarter of a cup of water. And then we're going to take our nice handy dandy uh, food thermometer here. Open it. I don't really know how to work this, so we're just going to try. Okay, I'm just going to turn on. Hello? <gasps> it's turning on. You see? Oh. Okay. So you place it in the saucepan and put it. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, this is going great. I don't know how to do this. I think there's like a stand. Maybe like that. Maybe. The stay. There's like a clip or something I could use. Maybe for Okay, I have like literally no idea how to like leave this in here. After fumbling around for approximately 20 minutes, I just decided just to um, take the temperature when it was done boiling. So do whatever you want to do. I have to start beating the, uh, the egg whites. So we got one. Two. Okay. Okay, oh my god, my The the thing said to get the yolk out of the I got it. Okay. No. <laughs> So once this hits 220 degrees, I'm going to start whipping that one. Okay, low 220, start the peaks. Ugh. Yeah, you're going to wait until it's soft peaks. Uh, I think it's good enough. I don't know. I'm not going to. So you mix it to low. Pour in the syrup. Make sure it doesn't get on the sides. <laughs> slowly, 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 slowly. I don't know if I'm messing this up or not, but we'll see what happens. Still go. It's 
still hot. So it looks like our um, meringue is done whipping. So you can see that it has nice stiff peaks. It says to add a third of the meringue to the paste and mix to combine. A third of the meringue. Fold in the rest of the meringue to the spoon. We got one third of this is going to go in here. So if you drop a bit with the spatula, it should take about 30 seconds to smooth out. I'm going to split this batter in half because I want to make vanilla macaroons and I also want to make orange ones. So I'm going to try to, I don't know, what's half? 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 Yeah. I think that's good. Place a piping bag in a tall cup or a vase and pour the batter into a bag. Ugh. That was so much work. Just it. Turn it like that. Okay. It's got one, two. Okay, it looks a little something like this. It says once you pipe it all onto the counter, you want to tap the baking sheet a few times to get rid of any air bubbles. So. in some orange food dye here to dye the spash orange because I'm making orange macarons. So look, I used, I used this um, Wilson orange gel um, thing, gel food coloring to make it orange. And gel food coloring makes it easier to, it makes the colors brighter. So as you can see, the color is quite bright right here. So now we have to wait for these macaroons to harden. Um, they kind of conglomerated together, as you can see. But you know what? We're, we're learning, we're trying, we're just trying to make something work, you know? Okay, so now we have to wait for about 40 minutes so that way the macaroon shells aren't sticky. Um, I am still struggling to... They just look... They're, they're conglomerating, it's just not. Ideal, but you know, I try. While you're waiting for the shells to bake, you want to make the frosting. So we're going to be using two sticks of softened butter. And you're going to beat on high speed for five minutes. So we're just going to put this in. Oh, it's very softened now. These have been out for quite a while. It is already 9 p.m. right now. This has taken two long. I'm at hour number two. Really, this is... Beat this for five minutes. Once you're done beating the butter together, you want to add in the powdered sugar and beat until fluffy. So we're just going to add in a little bit here, a little bit at a time so it doesn't explode. So. Once you're done beating in the powdered sugar, it should look like this, a lot more white in color. And then you can put it into the piping bag. I'm going to put half only in because I'm going to put, make the rest with, um, with the orange extract. So I'm going to put in the orange extract. That. I'm 
feed it. So you can feed it. I'm also going to drop in some of this orange uh, food coloring. Orange is blending in quite well into there. So now we preheated the oven at 300 degrees. And now we're going to put the macaroons in the oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to cook them for 12 to 15 minutes. Once they're cool, they should look like this. Or, yeah, they should be more round, but. First time trying, huh? Look at that. Beautiful. And then we're gonna transfer the cooked ones onto a wire cooling rack. Then once your macaroons are done cooling, you take two of them, put one down, then taking your bag of buttercream frosting, you can start from the middle and just pipe out the buttercream. This, this tip is really small. Okay. However much you want. Just put the next one on top and there you go. Would you look at that? And you want to keep these refrigerated right after you make them, just so that way they can um, solidify more and be more pleasant to eat. So these are the aesthetically good looking ones. Look how pretty they are. I'm so proud of myself. For the first time making these, I know they're not the most perfect, but hey, they're at least something. These are the ones I messed up on. Um, I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. I mean... First time for trying. There's it's no jasmine tang, but look. It's still edible. Right? You know what? It's still edible. Okay, so I think it's fine. Let me give you a more presentable one. See, this is this isn't so bad. Uh anyway. Well, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that of all my very mangled macarons. I've um, got some over there too. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. In the beginning, I never thought it would be you when we were chilling. Smiling in the photo booth But we got closer